Okay, we have retained another integral from the MIT integration should be 2024. This was quarterfinals, round one, problem one. We have the integral of ln x times x over e to the x plus e over x to the x dx. Okay, when I first looked at this, I really kind of had no idea, but the one thing that stood out was somehow I need to find out what's going to be the derivative of this and what's going to be the derivative of this. That seems like that's going to lead me in the right direction here. And one useful thing is these two things here, these are reciprocals of each other, so find the derivative. If we find the derivative of one, it's going to be easy to find the derivative of the other. But because we have a plus sign here, I think what I want to do in order to show this is let's just break this up into two integrals distributing in this natural log of x. And now that we have this broken up, what I want to do is I still want to know what the derivative of this is and this is. So I'm going to do, so in order to show this, let's do this as a u substitution. I'm just going to make my u here for this thing right here. We'll call this, let's this, for this u we'll have x over e to the x. And then simultaneously, I'm going to do the same kind of thing over here. We'll do a v substitution for this thing, which is going to be the reciprocal. But then in each of these cases, I don't really want x to be my base. We can do this thing where if we have some variable a, then we can rewrite it as e ln a. And so for x, what I can do is we can write this e ln x, but then we'll have this x on the outside that we can distribute in. So we can write this x to the x as e to the x ln x. And for this e in the denominator, I can bring in the x, and we can have e to the x, but then bringing it into the numerator, we'll have this as e to the minus x. But then we multiply this together with the same base, we can add the exponents. What we have for this, we have e x ln x minus x. And then from here, let's go ahead and take this derivative. So for our du value first, because we have e as the base, we're going to get just back this thing right here. So we're going to have e x ln x minus x. But then we need the chain rule on all this. So then within that, it's kind of confusing, but we're going to have to first do this with the product rule. So derivative of x is 1. So we're going to have 1 times ln x plus we bring the x over, take the derivative of ln x. That's going to be 1 over x. And then for minus x derivative, that's just going to be minus 1. But then here, we multiply x times 1 over x. That's just 1 minus 1. So this piece here is going away. This is all just going to be 0 here. And then we just have this ln x. So then just cleaning up our du value, what I can do is the thing we just did here, I can do this in reverse. So all of this right here, I can write this back as x over e to the x just times ln x. And that's pretty nice because what just happened, this whole first integral is going to just be du. Now coming over here, doing the same kind of thing with our v. Well, we know already that v is the reciprocal of u. So what I can do is just kind of reverse the sign on the exponent here. So reversing the sign on this. We can switch it around and write it as e to the x minus x ln x. So then finding our dv value, taking the derivative, again, we get back just this whole thing. So we get back our e x minus x ln x. And then when we use the chain rule on this, we already know what's going to happen because it's just going to be uh, minus 1 times this. So for this part, we're just going to end up with minus ln x. But again, I can clean this up the same way we did over here, doing this in reverse. So this piece here is going to be just e over x to the x. I'll bring the minus up front, and then we'll have this. Then we'll have this ln x at the end, dx. Oh yeah, and I forgot my dx over here too. But now coming back and comparing this to our integral, what we have right here is exactly what we have here. We just have this minus sign, so all this is actually going to become minus dv. But now I just need a little more space, and then we can finish it off. Okay, so now I'll just formally do the substitution just so we can see what's happening. So this first integral again is going to become just the integral of du, and then here I can bring the minus sign up front. And we're going to have just minus the integral of dv. And so this has become the simplest integral in the world. We can just integrate this. Integral of du is going to be just u. Integral of dv is going to be just v. And we have our u right here, and we've got our v right here. And so for my final solution of this, we just get x over e to the x minus e over x to the x. Add a plus c, and that's it. OK, so there you have it. Just a couple of ugly derivatives, and then right to the solution. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a good day.